Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss how to analyze the triangular load on a simply supported beam. There is a triangular load acting on this beam. In the beam, has a total length of 6 meter. And then if in the triangular load acting on this beam is 10 kN per meter, which is a uniformly varying load. So to start with the analysis, or to find out the support reactions for this beam that concerns this is A support and this is support B. So these two support will provide the support reactions to this beam. So it will be RA and RB. Now to how to find out these support reactions when there is a triangular load acting on the beam. So first of all we have to find out the area of this triangular load in order to convert this uniformly varying load into a pointed load. So first we have to find the area that what are what is the total amount of load acting on this beam. So we can find this by this method area half into B into H the area of the triangle which is half base into height. So half base is 6 meter multiply with the height is 10 kilonewton per meter so if we multiply and divide we got 30 kilonewton so 30 kilonewton is the load acting on this beam at the centroid of this triangle 30 kilonewton now to start with the support reactions we have to use this three equilibrium equation summation of horizontal force is equal to zero summation of vertical force is equal to zero and summation of moment at any point equal to zero. Now there is no horizontal load acting on this beam so we cannot use this equation. Also we have two unknown supports so we cannot use this equation. This equation can be only used when we have only one unknown. And so we are only remain with this equation so here we can use this equation because we have two unknown and when we have two unknowns then we can use this equation. These are the equilibrium equation. So by using this equation that let's suppose summation of moment at point A equal to 0, all the moment about point A equal to 0. So RB in this load 30 kN produce the moments about point A. So the clockwise moment is let's suppose taken as positive and the anticlockwise moment is taken as negative. So RB creates a moment in the anticlockwise direction around A. So it will be minus RB multiply with the moment term. The moment term is the distance from point B up to point A which is 6 meter and then this load which is 30 kN is producing the moment about point A in the clockwise direction. So it is taken as positive plus 30 into moment term. Now the moment term for this is the distance from point A up to this point. So what is this distance? So this distance is equal to the two third of 6 meter. 2 thought of 6 means if we cancel this 3 into 6 so we got 4 meter. So it means this distance from point A up to this is 4 meter. So the moment arm here is 4 meter. Now if I further explain this how I get this 4 meter if this is in a triangle and this is the total distance of this base is x. So the centroid of this load acting always at the centroid of the triangle. So it should be kept in mind from this end up to this centroid it is always equal to two third of x. And this remaining is equal to the one third of x. If this is total length. So similarly I did here two third of six meter we got four meters so four is the moment term. Summation of all moment equal to zero. Now six rb will be equal to if you move this into the right side this move into the right side so we got here 120 kilonewton now rb will become if i divide this by 6 so i got here 1220 kilonewton now to find out the ra so rb comes out to be 20 kilonewton now to find out the RA, this RA, we can use this equation, 
because now we have one unknown. When one unknown, then we can use this equation summation of f y equal to zero. And you can also use this equation summation of moment at point b equal to zero. You can also find r a. But let's, we are using this equation summation of vertical forces equal to zero. And let's suppose the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. The upward forces are r a and r b. So r a plus r b which is minus which is downward force is 30 kilonewton equal to zero so r a comes out to be 30 minus r b or r a is equal to 30 minus 20 which is r b is 20 so r a comes out to be 10 kilonewton so r a comes out to be 10 kilonewton here so this is the way how to analyze the triangular load on a beam hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe or channel for daily seven engineering videos Thank you for watching our video.